All right, we had some gremlins with the battery terminals. Yeah, shut your pump off. Um, but other than that, she runs. She was a little cranky. We did start it just before I turned the camera on. Um, but you figure this car hasn't been ran in probably a year and a half. And it was, it's like 12 degrees today. Negative 12 this morning when we first woke up. So she was a little cold. We're going to have to take all these apart. Um, this terminal, um, I mean, it's broken in a couple spots actually. So we're going to get rid of that one. Um, Jake's setup here, you can see, is actually kind of neat. It's got just these little ends that run off of a, like a marine battery, which is what I've got for my winch. But this battery did freeze on me once, so she's going to probably need to be replaced. Which is fine. I usually buy a new winch battery every year anyway. Because I also use them as my derby batteries, so they get beat around pretty good. So these ends will probably get replaced, but other than that, the fuel setup seems to work just fine. Um, we haven't bolted the battery box down yet. Um, one of these uh, sweet aluminum battery boxes from Haley's Fab. She does a hell of a job. Hi, Haley. I'm sure Jake's probably watching this, even though he's here. Um, so we'll probably shoot a couple holes through here and I don't know. Is there anything else we need to do? This build's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot that uh not much we can. We gotta figure out a fix for the trailing arm. But uh that's about it. I mean his directions on re on repair to that trailing arm were very, very, very specific, so I gotta go back and find exactly what he said I was allowed to do. And then uh, we're also going to have to, I don't know, I don't know if we can bend this thing back because it's all kinds of fucked up. Or just get a new one off of a donor somewhere. Both are options. Um, we'll figure that out. Clean up wiring a little bit. Um, obviously, a couple more bolts for Jake's uh, tank holder here. But we're making progress. We'll see what else we can come up with to do here. And uh, we'll see you back right about now. All right, we're actually a couple days later now, but you guys are probably used to that. So, I think what I'm going to do to finish up this video that we uh, that we started is uh, work on moving some of the wiring that comes up here to the computer. More along the lines of stuff that you know we get asked a lot from from beginners, as far as you know, just especially if you're only building your first car. I mean, I will be the first to say the idea of moving wiring on my first car was. It was a daunting task. Um, I did a lot of research, a lot of looking. Um, I didn't ask for help because I was shy. I didn't want to. Um, so, you know, I did my best to teach my way through everything like, like we have for most of our projects here. So, I'm going to start by undoing these front motor mounts. There's some AC stuff that I believe... Actually, looks like Jake cut some of that already, so that might not be in the way. Um, we'll have to unplug the fans. Huh. Well, I didn't think of that. So one of the downfalls for this class. I don't know that I can rewire those fans to a switch. Because everything's supposed to be stuck. I might have to message him on that, because typically you just unplug the fans and wire them to a switch and it's not that big of a deal but if we're trying to take this entire wiring I don't know if you guys can see that down there uh, let's see that right there is what holds all the wires that need to go inside the car um, but the factory wires to these fans go down into that bundle so if we pull all that out of there we're not going to have wires to the fans so I'm going to have to see if I can wire those to a switch. I don't really want to just run with no fans for a show like this because I feel like we're probably going to have some driving around. It is a three grand to win show. So we want to try to keep these things cool. I'm going to have to send him a text. But for now, 
one way or the other, if he says I can't wire them, these wires are still getting moved, and we'll just run with no fans, which would suck. Let me unhook a couple things, and I'll show you guys progress. All right, I want to take you under the car quick, but first, so the pro says here we're trying to move this computer this fuse box and then that fuse box right there all of this stuff is connected together through this wiring harness that comes right here and then it goes down and then it runs along the frame so you saw we already undid these two the actual wiring harness where it runs down along the subframe, it's really easier to cut from the bottom if you can. We always put our cars up on jack stands. Here's that wiring harness. And you'll see right there, it heads back up to that other fuse box. So I just cut each of these little guys here. And now this entire harness will lay up over the top of the motor once we do a couple more things. Um, for example, uh, let's see, that's AC stuff. I do need to loop, I'll show this from the top. Before I can bring the harness up, so here's the harness. It comes up here here. Maybe this is a different, oh no, it goes down to that. Okay. Anyway, sorry. So, that's the harness that we're going to try to lay over the top of the engine. To do that, this radiator hose is going to have to come off. That radiator hose, oops, is going to have to come off. The AC stuff, I believe, is in the way, but it's not anymore because Jake already cut that out of here. But we also need to loop the tranny lines. Now your tranny lines are right here. And they go up to the radiator. So we have to loop the lines before we can actually bring that wiring harness up. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. I might. Um, but I will pop a couple more things off of here before we close. Alright, so I undid the radiator hoses. Um, and I decided I have... I have. I decided I am going to loop the tranny lines while I'm out here. Um, however, I'm not going to do that on this video so that I can title that one as another Super Basics because I think that's just going to be easier when I have new people message me that are trying to get into the sport when we're trying to show something that's really, really simple. I can tell them to just check out our page and type in Super Basics and all of these videos will show up. So this was moving a little bit of stuff. Just getting ready for the process of moving wiring. Um, Next video you'll see looping these training lines, and then we'll work on finishing getting these wires out of the way. Spring X car, we're getting close. Um, it's almost done. I haven't been working a ton on it just because, I mean, it's it's still winter. Um, it's supposed to be like 8 degrees tomorrow and then get colder from there. I'm not 100% sure what I'm taking to Spring X yet, um, and everything is just so hard to get to right now. This Envoy, we could start building, I guess, if we wanted to have another, you know, winter project started up, but I just... Guys, I'm ready for spring. I don't know about you. Um, and I really feel like we're in decent position for the 2020 season. I mean, if you think about it, Jake's going to run this car that's in here at Spring X. Who knows what's going to be left of it after that. Maybe one of us gets another run out of it after Spring Explosion. I've got this wagon that's, you know, gutted and half built. I've got the Buick that we kind of half built. We've got the blue square body that's gutted, half built, ready to go. We've got a Cavalier back there that needs a transmission. We have the Prism that just needs a strut and a fuel tank. We have this blue car, the full size, that if I can come up with an engine to drop in, we can run that. I've got the Ranger that's really just needs a tank and 
you know, different tires and she's ready to rock. There is so much shit back here that's ready to go. Who knows? Maybe I'll find somewhere to take this fucking Oldsmobile just to finish it off. Guys, going into the spring when we're going to have decent weather and I'm going to want to be in the garage more and all that fun stuff, you know, I think we're in pretty good shape. I always want to be way ahead of the game, but I do feel like I'm more ahead of the game than I was last year at this time because this time last year I was still moving um, trying to get shit all into one spot so I think we're in a good spot we should be able to run a lot of shows we're promoting a bunch of shows we should be able to have a hell of a 2020 so sorry if I'm stretching out the content here just a little bit but I do feel like these super basics videos are going to help some of you guys when it comes to getting you into the sport that we all love appreciate you following along as always Okay, ghost.